What is up dudes? We're back again today. Andrew Penman YouTube and we've got another speed test. My god. You're loving the microphone? How's it sound? Testing one, two, one, two, testing one. If you want to know about that, uh, that microphone, I'm doing an unbox of that. It was only $17 Australian. It's a cardioid uh, microphone. It's rubberized, it's orange, it's funky, fold out stand. Uh, it comes with a really nice red extension lead, the classic um, little adapter. It is just unbelievable. I didn't have the right plug before when I was at the uh, booster conference so uh, and the booster ride because uh, I realised you got to adapt it from a four pole to a from a three pole to a four pole, three point five millimeter, and we're getting technical there. Um, but yeah, it's a great microphone. I can recommend that if you're doing vlogging or you want to do videos or you want to do sound, and it can come into a microphone for interviewing and all that stuff, which is yes, fantastic. Um, Vestar board, wow, one of the most secret little weapons in my arsenal of quiver. Uh, this is like the thing that's unassuming you take out. I brought it to the boosted event and just blasted everybody uh, out of the way. It, it was fast in the stealth. Um, it's just uh, 1000 watts only, but very, very, very uh, good KV rating on these motors. Um, these aren't the exact same as what's coming out of. Um, I just bottomed out there the other night at Manly Dam on the 360 video, you'll see that. Uh, yeah, it's they're, they're different, they've got a lip on the bearing. Uh, I think I think Riptide Elite have got a similar uh, similar distributor vendor for their ones, but this has just been, it's been, a, it's been a bomb. It's just been a flawless beast. And uh, when you go up a hill, uh, like my hill three here, I've got to lean forward. I've actually got to lean forward because you actually, it's taking you with an enormous amount of torque. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the speed test. Like, we've done some smiths. Abity, 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 I'll start again. We have done some sneak speed tests um, on this. So we know it reaches 40 kilometers an hour with me in 41-ish. So uh, yeah, I think there's no surprise what it'll do today. It'll probably get a very high rating on the speed and sprint test. But my concern is, or my interest is on the sprint. How fast does it accelerate between 30 meters? Is it gonna be around four second mark like the um, the Team G or the um, or the Leaf board in, in pro mode? Or it's gonna be uh, as cool as quick as uh, the Vareel V1S, which was a very fast, bitey uh, model. Uh, we'll have a look at that. You know, at the end of the day, um, the Onan has a lovely slow take-up speed, very safe, like a, like a big limousine cruising around in a Cadillac. Uh, I like a bite. I like a direct hit. I like to have to bend my knees when I feel that bite. It gives me a bit of a rush. Um, but yeah, not everyone, uh, a cup of tea, that kind of stuff. Okay, so today we've got an Investar board, uh, sprint and speed, well, speed and sprint test. Um, We'll check it out. The battery hasn't sagged. Uh, we're looking good. I've done over three, four, five, seven hundred and fifty kilometers on this so far. No chips on the wheels. Nothing at all. Absolutely incredible. And uh, yeah, this is just um, uh, just a, my go-to belt drive at the moment. Um, uh, very impressed indeed. So we'll go in the field now. We'll do a speed and spring test. We'll have a look at Olympic Park. We'll see what it can do. Um, and uh, it'll be a matter of uh, yeah, just. The figures will speak for themselves pretty much. Nice to see you all again. Uh, thank you so much for all your support, um, all your questions. Uh, my uh, comment field is a bit of a kind of uh, Reddit, mini Reddit. Everyone gets in there and talks. I love it when I, I don't get there for five days. I sort of see everyone corresponding and talking and chatting and there's some bit of biffo, a bit of riffraff going on here and there. But I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, most of my subscribers are mature age guys. Uh, cashed up, we'll spend, we'll buy. That's why my channel is very successful for sales. I don't make any money on my sale, on my on my referrals. I do do a shred light uh, discount, which I got a check the other day for fifty bucks, which was great. Uh, and I've got an revolve fifty dollar voucher, which I've got one or two of those. Uh, the rest of the boards I get to keep, and I don't sell them. I don't give them away at the moment because I love them all. Uh, they're on my wall. I think you've seen that before on my video. Uh, I keep them all. I'm not overly fussed with many more now. I'll probably start borrowing some off people and doing the reviews rather than using up all my walls in my house. We get to a point where uh, it'll look, just look ridiculous. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be getting boards and borrowing and riding. Uh, I'm gonna show some footage of the one wheel I rode last week, picked up in two seconds. Love, in fact, I'll end up with this on this cutting room floor video. 
riding the one wheel, picked it up straight away, first ride and was 34 kilometers an hour. It's an easy thing to ride, pretty much a lot of fun. If you want to get a one wheel, yeah, go for it. The unicycles, the, uh, the, the electric unicycles are also very, very impressive, but then a very impressive price tag. So you, they're all up around that price, those one wheels and unicycles. Um, me, I'm a skater to the core and I'm a surfer to the core, so I just love the feel of urethane on the road. I'm getting used to the Evolve uh, pneumatics. I do like that feel, you bounce over everything. And there's really no concern about damaging your board. And the Evolve has, hasn't had any of its tests done. How slack. Uh, so yeah, the Evolve one, there's still a few available, the dual uh, you know, 1500 watt motors. Yeah, they are just, it's just such a nice board to ride. So Jeff in Queensland, you're doing a great job. Yeah, batteries have got a bit of an issue, but we'll get around that with the Zill batteries upgrades, hopefully, um, to improve that voltage sag that's coming on quite quickly. Um, so I'll do the speed and sprint test and the hill climb test, and I've done the long, long range, so I'll upload that on the, the Evolve with the 107 ABEX, which uh, really are a nice, sweet Goldilocks, not too, fast, not too slow, just perfect um, kind of uh, wheel system that I like uh, and I can thoroughly recommend the Flywheel 107s. They are an amazing urethane and they really have a slight slide but a slight grip. You've got everything in there. Uh, when I get my Zill board eventually I'll be putting the Tramper um, pneumatics on the Zill board uh, and I'll be putting the ABEC limits back on the Evolve which I'll be riding with the fluoro green on that wooden deck with a the retro GT stripe, uh, yeah, you can't beat that look. And when I go riding in groups, there's thousands and thousands of Evolves and Raptors and Boosters, but yeah, I won't see another one of those Evolve ones. They are limited um, technically now, and uh, yeah, they are a, an awesome board. If you want to get one, there's links below. Have a look, ring up Jeff in Queensland, have a chat. Tour boards had a few come in. Uh, they are the new, unique twin drive uh, limited edition ones. Beautiful board, so check that out. Uh, I'll do some news updates and some later stuff on my next 360 degree uh, e-board tour which will be probably in the city under Harbour Bridge around the Opera House, spectacular, uh, lots of those coming and I'll get a chance to talk to you guys and do the updates while I'm riding on the 360 and you can look around if you don't want to look at my face, you can just look at the view. <laughs> guys, uh, that's, um, that's it for me, the tour I'll throw out now to the field on the Vestar board speed and sprint test, this is a beast, this is worthy of everything it's got the only issue i found with it was the uh, connectors on the vesk the uh, the way they're wired from the motors they take the stator wires right the way through to the s which is not what normally should be done it's not uh, frank or vestar board's fault it's the manufacturer of the motors the way around if they do br uh, intermittently stop is take the vest cover off i've got a link that i can send you if you get in contact with me how to solder in line all the uh, the six uh, three phase wires of each motor. I recommend all my boards to cut the connectors out. What do you want connectors for? You're going to be changing vests, uh, vests or esks regularly? Eh, I don't think so. You're not going to be doing that. So just solder the bastards, uh, as we say in Australia, and then you've got nothing to worry about. So that's the only issue I found with it. Other than that, it's pretty much flawless. A uh, little bit of belt skip, but if you're careful how you brake, uh, I haven't changed my belts yet in 400 kilometers, so yeah, uh, you don't need to worry about that at all. Just if you're a heavier rider, uh, be careful to brake heavily at first to slow yourself down to 10 kilometers an hour, then back off slowly as you pull up. Don't yank them on when you're going slow, you will skip belts. Um, okay guys, that's it for me. Love your work, thanks for coming. I'll be here all week. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy skating, safe skating. Enjoy the speed and sprint test of the Vestar board V2.
going to do the speed test now in high speed on the Vestar board V2 2000 watts belt drive. Let's give it a go. Let's see what it can do. Jared! 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 Okay, not sure what that is. We'll soon find out. It's pretty quick. We're now going to do the speed test on the Vestar board in medium speed. Let's see what I can do. That's medium speed, whatever that is. Uh, pretty impressive. Okay guys, we're now going to do the low speed on the Vestar board. As you can see, low speed. This will only go about 15 kilometers per hour. Um, it's not going to go very fast. Uh, there you go. Picking it up now. It's actually going really slow. So this would be a great speed for someone like a child or a kid under the age of 10 or, yeah. This is a good low speed, this one. <laughs> So there you go, that's a low speed. It doesn't go much faster than that. It's a really brilliant low speed for young kids. Even a six-year-old could ride this, I think. There you go, that's the low speed. Okay guys, I'm riding on the one wheel um, and uh, as you can see, um, I'm wobbling a little bit, but uh, yeah, I got to master it pretty quickly actually, first ride, so um, yeah, it's a pretty amazing feel, I'd say it's uh, something I haven't felt, it's like a very cushioned ride, very cushioned. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful feel. So there you go. What, what's that? A bike? Oh, it's one of these. Um, you know. Oh, there's ones that you can. Trouble. Trouble is you lean forward to take a video and you go faster. They're pretty insane. Uh, I'll go a bit of speed up here now and see what I can do. Wow. They're a pretty, um, a pretty impressive thing, uh, taking this hill pretty easily up here. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Certainly worthwhile. Getting off though, it's very interesting. <laughs> 